This is a tutorial on how to set up Bucks Traction. In the supply room, there's a paper that has all your parts listed, as well as information on how to do the assembly. The parts that you're gonna need are, you're gonna need a short rod, a boot, you'll need two five pound weights, or three depending on the doctor's order. You're gonna need a pulley, some scissors to cut your rope, some rope, and then you're going to need two poles that go into the foot of the bed, and then you're gonna need a crossbar. There's two sizes of crossbars. There's a shorter one and a longer one. Go with the shorter one, because as you can see, the longer one will hang off the side of the bed. So with the assembly, we're gonna take these rods and they're gonna go in to this hole right here. We don't have to remove the footboard. We just place this like that. The other one goes on the other side. And make sure that they curve away from the bed. Okay, now that you have all of your parts, we're ready to assemble. So you're gonna take your posts on each side of the foot of the bed. Then you take your rod and you put it inside these clamps and tighten it down. If this doesn't fit in here, you just have to loosen it a bit until it fits inside the little notch there and then tighten it down. Okay, once you've got that tight, you need to take your short rod, <clears throat> place that on the bed. Now this needs to come on an angle about like that. And then you're gonna tighten this down as well. All right, now that you've got that secure, you place your pulley. All right. Now you're ready to assemble the boot and the weights and the rope. All right, once you have the end parts set up, you're ready to place the boot on the patient. This boot can be found in the clean utility um, on the bottom shelf on the west side or to the left as you walk in. So the way you properly place your patient's leg into this boot <clears throat> is, now keep in mind they have a fracture so you wanna do it as um, best you can and not cause them too much discomfort. So you're gonna lift up their leg, put this underneath and you want the heel of their foot to be in the um, corner of this boot as much as you can. So you lower their leg down, make sure their heel is at the end of the boot, and then you just take the straps and you want it tight enough that it's not gonna fall off once you put the weights on, but you don't want it too tight that it feels uncomfortable. Now that you have the boot properly placed, you're ready for the rope and the weights. So you wanna put the rope on the plate end of the boot. Make sure your patient is properly scooted up in the bed so you have enough room down here to work with. Then you wanna tie a knot, a double knot, so that this rope stays in place. So kind of give it a little tug to make sure it's tight enough. Then you're gonna feed it through the pulley. And on this end, you wanna make a loop with a knot because this is what's gonna hold your weights. Your weights are gonna be determined by your doctor's order. Most common is 10 pounds, but they may order 15 or 20. So just add the appropriate amount of weight to your, um, to your rope. So the weights come in five pound weights. I've got two on here, this is 10 pounds. When you go to put your weights on, you put your hook around the, through the loop right there, and then you wanna slowly lower it to the ground so that your patient doesn't 
have any discomfort. Now, you want to make sure this is flush. You might have to move it around a little bit to get it right like that. Then you'll notice your pulley, your rope comes up through your pulley. You want to make sure this pull is on the side of the affected extremity. So your rope comes through here, it's going to go down. And notice the weights are not touching the floor. The rope is not touching the foot of the bed. Your patient's foot is not touching the foot of the bed. You actually have traction. The boot, if you don't have this properly secured, will slide down. If that happens, just remove your weights, replace the boot, and then put the weights back on. Um, this rope could be shorter. It doesn't have to be that long. It just has to be long enough that it can, the weights can hang from it and give traction, but not too long that the weights touch the floor.